Hello everyone, and welcome to what will hopefully be the final grand adventure for the Ukiers in their second season. I am very hopeful that today, one of the last icebergs that the season two Ukiers shall ever crack open will finally prove fruitful and we will find the very last of the prehistoric genes that we have been missing all of this time. The digging trunk. That long-nosed digging trunk. So you guys need to all be thinking digging trunk thoughts today. It may be a very quick day with the Ukiers because after discussing it with one another, they have decided to split into two groups so that they can try to tackle exploring and cracking open those icebergs even quicker. Many of the legends, the lore, and the mysteries of the Ukir's culture and stories have been lost over time. I would say none of those present even know about Yuki, even know about Anka of the Frozen Nest. Instead, they only know that their job is to get on this island and off it as quickly as possible while searching for survivors in the ice. After all, the two big events that really veered the Ukiers off from being the healthy, strong, pure-blooded, snow-seeking tribe that they were is running into these large islands, thinking that we had all the time in the world, and ending up trapped by snow and avalanches of ice. So let's go ahead and just hoof it this time. We are going to have Opal, uh, Opalui lead the way. She is going to start scooching along to search this side and Tanu is going to start scooching along to search this side. Hopefully his daughter will be able to join him, a little Larasi, in just a second. I'll send Aldor over with Opali, and Renali, hmm, Renali, Rel 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 oh my goodness, trying to figure out how I want to pronounce the names, can twist my tongue around a little bit sometimes, we will probably go with the Saberfang group. So, whew, we're not gonna waste any time this time. Let's go ahead. Uh, maybe I can grab some food while we're over here, I suppose. Uh, oh, actually, well, he can dig something up there at least. And we'll go ahead and send his daughter after him. And we will send her auntie over here. There we go. We will have Aldor go ahead and follow the pandas and the sabers <gasps> are splitting into two different groups, aren't they? We really are kind of splitting it. So it's becoming like the saber fang group and the panda pattern group. Oh my gosh. Can they make it in time? before it really starts getting snowy though that is kind of the question we're going to rush over here almost there almost there oh my gosh and there was a bunny too all right come on all right we're right over here <laughs> we're not wasting any time and the panda group has gone one direction larasi is over here with her father and they are going a another direction revealing all of these delicious bunnels that we might be able to eat. I, I mean rabbles. I keep calling them bunnels because I think bunnies. And they are working their way over to this particular iceberg. <gasps> are we going to be able to crack it open? Oh my gosh. We can definitely tackle this one. No problem. All right, guys. So iceberg number one, as it starts getting colder and the snow is going to begin to set in, we, oh no, and Tonu has been frozen. Oh my gosh. All right. His daughter is going to have to go ahead and try to warm him up so that he will not freeze to death, please. There we go. Um, I guess we can grab some food whilst we are still scooching our way down. Uh, Tonu is going to keep running keep running. We're almost right there. His daughter is going to be close behind following her dad. Ranali is going to be joining them in just a second. And then on this side, you guys, I can't believe this is happening so fast. <laughs> on this side, our panda patterns are going to see carrying, by the way, most of the uh, purebred Yukir genes, they're going to see if this is going to finish the Yukir's journey, and they're going to finally find the digging trunk, or if this is going to be another dead end in the snow, where they will have a beloved new family member, but not the conclusion to the adventures they have been on for almost 40 real life hours. Let's step over, and Opal, do the honors. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! 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 Welcome to Kirnu! Oh my gosh! You guys! Digging trunk! Digging trunk! 
<laughs> digging trunk! Digging trunk, digging trunk, digging trunk! Kirinu, welcome! <laughs> Kirinu, with G and I immunity and digging trunk! Oh my goodness, look, and the first thing he does is dig up three roots for us to eat. <laughs> and he has digging paw on top of that. He should have gotten four roots, in my humble opinion. I can't believe we just we just did it. We just did it with Opalui with her her gill face no less. Uh, she has she's done it. Aldor over here has recessive saber fangs. We have recessive mega horns over on the other side. We've done it. We've completed the who cares journey. <laughs> We've completed the goal that they have carried on and they have cradled for generations. We have recessive Megahorn with Larossi here and we've got our Saber Fangs active over there. We have all five of the snowy jeans broken free from the ice after so long and so many islands and so many adventures. I am so relieved. I am so proud. I want to have his baby. This is so exciting. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Wow. I had no idea when they introduced the the snowy jeans and the, the iceberg jeans, the prehistoric jeans to crack free. I didn't know that it would take us on such an amazing adventure. And I had no idea that with all of the drama, all of the chaos, all of the saga of Saber Fangs and Black Rose and Avalanche and Balance Bear battles, that in the end it would come down to one spotted creature with a digging trunk and big, big brown eyes. I had no idea that that's the way it was going to end. But all right, so here we are. We need to come and help our aunt to not freeze herself to death now and continue running for it. Uh, so there we go. We're going to get over here. We're going to be with our brother and he is going to jump on up and we are going to crack free the final iceberg that the Yukiers of season two will actually ever, ever have, ever see. So let's do this, guys. And it's another saber fang, a saber fang female named Komi, who looks like she would be able to provide quite a wonderful baby for uh, Tanu right over here. And they have definitely begun their own saber tooth tribe on this side. And then over here on the other side, we have somehow managed to begin a little a little panda line that I'm very happy just to see through. So we're gonna go ahead and let her and Aldor is going to come down and try to like maybe grab some food. He's hearing a lot of bunnels, excuse me, rabbles. So we'll have him go ahead and search for that. We'll see if we can sniff out any food. So we'll jump up here. I don't smell any food. So unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any food nearby. We'll go ahead and have a few babies with Kiernu. I will definitely be backing up the save file and trying to share it with you guys. I am so amazed that this has happened. That we have actually gotten the final gene we were going for after all. And we have gone ahead... <laughs> And had a guild baby girl anyway. That is so funny. Look at this. We have a panda pattern line on the right. We have a saber tooth line on the left. This is just fantastic. I love the little families that we are building up. I'm going to go ahead and have another baby with him. Just because we can. We'll see if we can sniff out any more. Oh, there's some nice roots. We'll go ahead and gather up some nice roots for our mate. So that she knows we'll, we'll take good care of her and the babies. Uh, the baby is currently exposed. So we're not taking very good care of it right now. But there you go, you guys. After very, 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 very long... So many adventures, so many trials, so many errors. <laughs> we have actually managed to bring the tribe together. They have actually managed to shock me and go ahead and split themselves into two final groups. We are about to have a saber fang baby on this side. Sure enough, there we go. Double digging paw saber fang named Is Isra. Is Isra. There we go. She's got a lot of strength. She's got a lot of ability to dig. <laughs> Doesn't have the ability to crack anything open, but I'm sure that's going to be fine. Uh, can we hear or see any bundles? There are some bundles, or, excuse me, rabbles. 
<laughs> running around up top that we can try to chase down with this group. I, I love this. I love this. And we have another guild baby girl named Kosi, who, Kois, who looks just like her sister. <laughs> and I, I love this, guys. I cannot believe we have done so much. Look, and there's a balance bear already ready to start trying to eat us. You just got to appreciate the the unexpected moments in life, but we have done it. I suppose we should go ahead and just get off this island. I just wanted to have a couple babies just to see if we could. It appears that Opal will continue to pass on as many children as she can, who will just straight up um, be swimmers. So she might want her children to grow up to be powerful adventurers of the water. And maybe that will be our next goal. We have spent so much time with the Yukirs. We have spent so much time with the snows. We have actually been focused on snowy Yukir adventures for well over uh several months almost almost a whole year i think it's been since the prehistoric genes came out and we have been focusing on those adventures the whole time so now i'm thinking what we may do instead is we may start focusing really hard on seeing what kind of adventures we could get up to if we went into the water we have never done a mermaid challenge. We have never done anything like that. I think maybe that would be a really good direction to go. So right now we have our random challenge with the whims that I am absolutely adoring. I had no idea that I would be so ridiculously passionate about the whims that I would love them as much as I do, that they would present as much fun as they have for me. All right, let's see if we can mate with him again. Oh, it didn't take. Okay, gotta guard the baby. But I, I have loved the Yukir so much. I would love to move on into season three with them at some point in the future, just because I am so attached to the family. I am so attached to the idea of the family. And I would love to see what they could do given, given room to roam and room to be free in the fully updated version of the game. But I do think we have searched the snows for quite some time and that it would be quite fun to start searching the waterways and becoming uh, a lot of you guys have requested like a mermaid challenge and seeing the bright color patterns and what we could mix and match with the swimming jeans. I think that could be a lot of fun to do in niche as well. There are so many options available. I have loved the Yukiers. They are not gone forever. We are just going to give them a little bit of time to kind of rest a lot of their legends and lore are gone we don't really have the same sense of a uh, continual <laughs> continual exploration and adventure that we have had let's see can i get that bundle oh i keep calling him the bundle oh well but we don't really have the same sense of continual discovery that we used to and I think it'd be good to try something new. So let me know what you guys think, what challenge you would like us to alternate with our whim legacy moving on into the future. Uh, if you would like to see the Yukiers come back sooner than later, truly, I have loved them so much. I love seeing what kind of babies they have. And I think that we may even kind of wait a little bit and with the Yukiers and bring them back around again once we know a little bit more about what kind of new additions will be coming into the game in the future. What kind of new genes we could start expecting with the community updates that will be arriving with the game. So I hope you guys have been keeping uh, tabs on that because there should apparently, oh dear, and none of that meeting took, apparently we're just going to forever have had two identical <laughs> panda pattern daughters who are like the only thing different about them are the color of their eyes. Oh my gosh, but yes, yeah, so we may wait a little while before we go ahead and we do any more with you Kiers. We're having such an amazing Sabretooth family. I absolutely love it because I might wait and see what the new genes. No, and we have lost our female. Oh, that's so devastating. Let's go ahead and bury the nest. Oh dear. Sorry, Kiernu. <laughs> Looks like for sure we have, we have ended up with pandas and we've ended up with recessive digging trunk even after all of that work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, that's that. I think that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it you guys So the Yukiers are surviving on we will get them off this island. I think the panda side of things is really struggling 
Uh, but we'll get the little girls hopefully over to this side and they can all escape and go be happy you cares elsewhere. But for now, I like to imagine that the saber fangs are able to protect the group. They will pull everybody together. Those two little girls will be able to stay side by side, wiggle their way over to the other side of the island where they now have Van Rota, a very handsome saber fanged nicheling who does carry many of the Ukir's recessive genes within him. And hopefully, it looks like he would actually be a safe mate for Larasa, Larasi too. So they can get those Yukir genes going. I will upload the save file so that you guys can have access to it and see if you can bring out all of the prehistoric genes to be dominant again. We have so many challenges. We have had so many adventures in niche and I really can't wait to see. Maybe we'll wait on the Yukirs and come back to them when there are some new additions to the game because they are considering quite a few things through the community voting. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go and check the niche forms where you can submit your own ideas and also hopefully start voting on ideas that they're going to add in to the future of niche as well. And whatever they add in to the future of niche, means the future of our adventures with this tribe. So thank you guys so much for joining me over 40 real hours we have spent together. That is almost two entire days of staying up and nonstop just following this family together. And that just amazes me. I have not done that many, that many series that you could really say that for. And I am so happy that their adventures have finally come to a pretty content conclusion. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.